in this week's episode of Working with Evernote, the web application has been updated. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pullin and in this week's episode I am delighted to tell you all that finally Evernote has updated their web application. Now for those of you who don't know, Evernote has always had a web application but over the last probably two or three years it has been horrible. I think maybe three years ago Evernote experimented with a new modern design or it was modern three or four years ago but they've never really developed it and they didn't push it out to their independent applications for the various uh, platforms that we use. So it just got stuck and it really was quite horrible to use. But anyway this week or maybe last week I wasn't sure exactly when they updated it but if you go to www.evernote.com now and log in, you get basically the same interface as you would on your independent applications. So what I want to do is I want to go into the web app and to show you how this works now, show you some of the little changes that they've made and see if you can make better use of the web application. Now this is great news for those of you who are not allowed to download Evernote as an application on your work computer you can now use the web application and it looks and feels exactly like using the regular app. So let's go into Evernote but before I do that I'd just like to say if you like this video please click on that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet oh please subscribe. Okay let's go into Evernote and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Okay, so here it is. Here is the new interface. As you can see, I am using Safari. I am not using the actual independent application and everything is as it should be. Now, there are a few things that I've noticed that you cannot or you can and cannot do. Now, Evernote, when you log into this, you say you're going to have to do drag and drop. Well, I've never been able to get the drag and drop to, to work. I've been trying to do it, but for some reason it's not working on my web application, it might work in Chrome. But as you can see the most important thing is we now have a user interface that you will be familiar with and that's the beauty. Even how you present your notes can be presented exactly as it is in the application. You can show tags, you can show, uh, you've got all sorts of things in here. The only thing I've noticed is that we you can't like move the the columns to make it uh, bigger or smaller and you don't you do seem to have only this view here but at least we can now move things around we can see things we can change the way our, our inbox is ordered and so on as you can see all your notebooks and your tags are all down here and again unfortunately you can't move them around this is a web version I guess and the search notes field is actually over here on the left hand uh, sidebar rather than up here where it normally is in the application but you know that it's pretty obvious where that is so it shouldn't be too difficult to find and also over here you can share these notes and you can share it in exactly the same way that you would share using the application before it really was difficult to figure out how to share the note and once again you have all the options of what you can do you can add it to the shortcuts you can move it you can share the note you can do all sorts of things here and it's all there the other thing that I really like about this new or <laughs> updated web interface is when you create a new note you get exactly the same system as you would if you were creating a note in the application itself and you can also access your templates your saved templates from this version now this is absolutely great as I said in the introduction for those of you guys who are not allowed to have independent apps on your work computer at least now you can access your notes 
in the Evernote web interface. Now, technically you could have done that before, but like I say, it really was a mess and it wasn't easy to find everything. And I just basically gave up from it because I really didn't enjoy using the web interface. Now I will feel so much more comfortable to be able to do that. And that is something that I really, really feel very happy about. So that's it, that's the web interface. You can zoom in by the way, which you can with the uh, you can actually go into a full note view like this which is fantastic so you can just get on and focus in on your notes it is a much better system than we had before and I think that's a really good sign from Evernote going forward of course it's not exactly like the app web the normal independent application like drag and drop as I mentioned I can't get it to work I can drag this down wherever I want to but nothing seems to happen it does claim that you can do drag and drop well maybe it's not working today maybe it will come in the very near future but I just wanted to introduce you all to that because I am really excited about this this is really good signs ever know I'm moving now in the right direction and it'd be great to see how things develop in the future thank you very much for watching this episode it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week thank you for watching this video if you liked what you saw and you would like to learn more about becoming better organized and more productive then get yourself enrolled in my free beginner's guide to creating your own cod system and if you'd like to learn more about how I can help you, then visit my website at carlpauline.com. All the details are in the show notes below.